animated <laughs> film series. You know the popular animated film series, How to Train Your Dragon. A new show from DreamWorks now picks up 1,300 years after the films left off. It's called Dragons, the Nine Realms, and one of the familiar voices in the project is Marcus Scribner, who we watched grow up on the series Blackish. He joins us this morning from Albuquerque. Good morning, Marcus. Good morning. Good morning. How are you guys doing? Great, thank you. I want to congratulate you on Blackish. It's such a fantastic show, and I understand that um, you just uh, wrapped it up. Uh, what was that experience like for you growing up uh, on a show that so many people watched? Um, it was an amazing experience. I feel like I learned so much about the industry, about business in general, um, what it means to be an actor. Um, and it's crazy that it's coming to a close. We just wrapped up our eighth and final season. Yeah. Um, but I'm also very excited for what's to come in the future. What, what did you learn on that show? I mean, outside of all of those uh, business things, what, what do you learn from your, your fellow actors on the show? I mean, that's got just one of the most incredible casts, some of the most incredible writing. What do you get out of that as an actor? Um, so much creatively. Uh, I feel like um, being on Black has kind of informed a lot of the, the other roles that I've taken. Um, I was so fortunate to be on a show that, that stood up for what it believed in and talked about current issues mm -hmm. um, and didn't shy away from, um, from conflict and discussion. Um, and also I've learned from, from people like Lawrence Fishburne, one of the most valuable pieces of advice that he gave me is to diversify and make sure that I'm um, never staying stagnant and always on the move creatively. Um, and, you know, just getting to sit on the sidelines with amazing actors like Anthony Anderson, Tracy Ellis Ross, Jennifer Lewis, Lawrence Fishburne, getting to watch them just act. Uh, you glean so much information from that um, and kind of learn how to be present and how to approach future roles. So yeah. well, uh, it's just a plethora of information I learned from them. Cartoon Dragons, that's a good step in the right uh, direction for diversity in your career. Um, uh, how, how do you approach that? Is that a heavy thespian lift for you to do animated voices? Um, it's been I exciting. I've done a few voiceover projects in the past, um, but this one is, is really near and dear to my heart. I grew up watching How to Train Your Dragon and, and reading the book series as well. Um, I've always been a huge dragon nerd, so getting to have my own dragon was a dream come true. Um, and to play D'Angelo, kind of the heart and soul of the group has been amazing. So what age group is this uh, is kind of uh, directed toward? Is it, you know, um, like maybe eight plus or, or what, you know, what, uh, who's gonna be watching this on Hulu? What I find so exciting about this series is, is um, How to Train Your Dragon obviously is a, is a, um, kind of a piece of IP that's that's directed towards a younger audience. Yeah, but yeah. Uh, Dragons, the Nine Realms is really exciting because it's, it's a piece that you can watch with your entire family. Um, while it is, does deal with mystical creatures and flying lizards and whatnot, uh, there are a lot of real world, world notes that we take, um, whether that's family, friendship, uh, learning to push through adversity, fighting for what you believe in, and uh, animal rights and protecting nature and things like that. So. So, uh, Marcus, what are you doing in Albuquerque? Do, do, do you live there? Are you working there? What's what's going on? It's a beautiful city. It's just uh, um, I do. Yeah, I do not uh, live here currently. I am uh, out here filming a movie for a couple months. So um, it's been really exciting exploring. Um, I've been checking out some of the local cuisine with the red and green chilies. I've never been to a place where like the main like there's like one specific food that is like the main source of like Albuquerque and pride. Um, so it's been really exciting trying all the all the red and green chili dishes. I was going to say, yeah, that does not look like the apartment of a young bachelor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's a little too organized, a little too I clean. Nondescript painting. Yeah, I, was, I like yeah. the nondescript painting. <laughs> right. You know, there, there are glasses yeah, throughout, uh, wrapped in the, plastic the in there. Sweet plastic. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> I, no I noticed on your uh, in your Instagram yeah. account there, like you you were apparently a fan of hot foods, spicy foods. It's like nothing but pictures of hot sauces <laughs> and you eating hot sauces on there. Yeah, I love I love spice. So I guess I'm in the right place. Yeah. Um, it gets a little tiresome after a while. No offense to all the Albuquerqueans out there, but yeah. <laughs> Need a little diversity and all that. So, uh, when you first started, exactly. uh, when you first started on uh, Blackish, uh, 
you know, what, what was it like for you just as a, a, a young kid? We run, we, we run the reruns here on WGN weeknights at uh, 7 o'clock, and it's really fun to oh, see nice. the early episodes where you're just like a little, we're showing a picture now, you're just like a little beanpole of a little, <laughs> a little man there. A beanpole of a little man. I, that's the best description I've heard. Um, yeah, it's it was uh, it was an exciting time. Um, growing up being a young actor, I started acting around seven years old. Um, so booking that show at 13, I was in a transition phase. I was just about to start high school, which is crazy to me. I'm like, I did not look like a high schooler. Um, but going getting to be on a show like that and like i said earlier learning from all those different sources such talented actors um and being fortunate enough to have such a diverse um cast and crew and being able to to um just absorb as much as possible um and grow up in that sort of environment was it was it was i was very fortunate and very lucky yeah i i look forward to uh, the episodes every night here on wgn it's such a well-acted, well-written show. And now you also have Dragons, The Nine Realms. It's running on Hulu. Marcus Scribner, it's great to uh, talk with you. Thanks so much for joining us. Enjoy your hot sauce. Okay, I will. I'm gonna, I'm gonna gorge myself right after this. Appreciate right. it, great talking to you guys. Happy Thanks, holidays. Marcus. Done now for Ron Town. Hey, Anna. Happy holidays.